so I'll kill them with the most sword. That's what I'll do. That's why I need one of these, okay? Okay. Oh. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah. I have Ada with me today. Absolutely swinging that sword. As always, we're going to run. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. As always, we're going to go through. <laughs> stop. Please stop stabbing me. We're going to go through some sales. Stop poking me. We've got a few, but we've got two that have to go out today, so we're definitely going to do those. I'll do those first. <laughs> first going out for £22.99 is the second shaver. I picked up two from a car boot sale, sold one to a lovely subscriber on here for 80 all in, I think. I'm not too sure. And this one has gone for £22.99. It's not as good as the other one, but it's still good. Hey, don't smash my car with that. Okay. Yeah, I've heard I won't before. So I'm going to do these parcels. These two that have to be done. I'll check to see if the other ones are small enough. If they are, I'll get them done. What? No, the, the, the feathers are still there. Yeah, the feathers are still there. How hard? They'll go soon. Huh? They'll go soon. Okay. Um, but I need to entertain my daughter today and she loves toy shops, charity shops. So that's going to be my main way of entertaining her today. Yeah, I want it there. And this next one's going to take a little bit of postage. Oh my god. Your bob is here, Daddy. Yeah. So, for a grand total of, it's not as my t shirt, it's fake. George can have it though. £85.98 is a vintage projector. You know, like you used to get a school, literally the same one where you put your picture over. You would try your hardest to try and get projector duties, but when you was naughty like me, you never got a chance. We've sold that. <coughs> £85.98 in total. And that's going to be... It's just going to take some packing. So, Ada, watch out the way a minute. I need to make some space. No, watch out the way. I need to make some space. What? That's going to come with us in a minute. Daddy, the Yes, thank you. So I'm going to check to see if there's anything in here that moves around that needs... That's going to bring back some memories to some of you guys, isn't it? Hey? Oh, lordy. So I think what I'm going to do... A good chance to use up some of this foam that I've got knocking around. Ada made her first YouTube video yesterday. I gave her the camera, she took it into the kitchen, sliced her own bread and butter, well, put her own butter on her bread and butter. Then she wanted to do it again. So she started walking around the house and was doing things and then drawing. It's just so cute the way she goes, hi guys. So obviously she watches me plus a lot of other YouTubers. But she watches me, she watches me, me make it, make them, and then she watches her YouTube people. I need this, darling. So I don't know what box she's taking it from. Otherwise, you're gonna be a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. God. Yeah, you are. Hmm? Think better. Think better. The... You can't take things out of the boxes, darling. I'm not trying to be horrible, but they're, they're in there. I don't know what box she's taking it from. Sake. It's perfect size then, but it's just too fat. I'm going to cut this off because this tape is way too loud, this blue stuff. What? Jack Hoodie's car. Jack Hoodie's car? <laughs> Mini Jack. There you go. My prediction is nine and a half kilos, maybe, maybe more. I will carry that for you. No, ten. Oh, I need to take a picture of this because... They try and scam me later. Let me just get a photo of this. This is going on because if 
Or I get one of them shitty little emails from them saying, you owe us loads of money. And the weight, the size is under, so that's great. In fact, you know what this video will do? Not even close. Absolutely bang on the money. Thanks. What are you looking for, Dad? Yep, I was looking for this exhaust system from a lorry. You know when things just work out mwah, perfectly? Right, so the rest of the stuff that needs to go out, we'll take a look and see if it's small enough to pack. It is, it is, it is. Oh! Okay, cool. We're going to pick them, but probably not pack them. Bear with me. So these are almost gone now. We've sold one for £6, and then we've sold ten for £50. One, two, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, this is what, seven available, but I've got a bit more than that. So £6 for one LED driver, and £50 for ten, which works out a price of £5 each. The bad buy from the other day, I paid £4 for this, sold it for nine ninety nine free postage, probably actually nine quid. Oh no, they've paid the full 9 99 free postage. It's going to it's going abroad somewhere, a global shipping programme. And for £6.75, 50 pence into 6 75 I've pretty much got all the rest of them for free now. They're 50p each, I think I paid like four quid for all of them. Beautiful. No baby, we're not going to mess with them today. Okay. For £10 now over on Vinted, we've sold the Napa Piri t-shirt. Paid £2.75, £10 all in on Vinted. We'll take it. Lovely. And that's all the sales. I am pretty sure there was a giveaway at some point as well last week or the week before. Did I do a giveaway? I'm pretty sure I did. I knew that was coming. Well, look where you're going then. I'll have to check the videos. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure there was a giveaway. I'm pretty sure there was. Yes, it was. It was for the Lego, wasn't it? So I'll draw that on today's video. So, of course, with having Ada, there's not much I can do regarding in here. I can't really sit in here listing at the moment <coughs> while she's left to her own devices because things like that happens. Zach, prime example. She's hurt herself three times already since being in here. She's grazed her knee and broken a few things out. Let's go. So we're just going to go and drop them parcels off and then probably pop into a toy shop. Putting them back. Ants made their own noise, they did on their own, I promise. Cool. How did the ants do that? Maybe? Don't know, maybe they're just very, very strong. Do you want to see them? The ants are done. Yeah. Do you see what the ants are done? Oh, yeah. It's their colony. Put in, put in the bee. It's their road for their colony. They've really messed up our patio. Look at all that they've dug out. Unfortunately. I'm going to have to exterminate them at some point. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff. I'll just carry like this Yeah, one. you carry this one and I'll carry this one. You happy with that deal? Yeah. Wash, your, wash your fingers. Move. Head back. Come on, keep walking. I am. <laughs> Sassy. This way. Towards over there. Good job. High five. Oh. Right, we have had to come back. Come here, give me your hand. We have had to come back to Bernardo's because of that last situation where we found those Edwins and the Lulus for three quid. So you've drew, you've dropped the prices have drawn me back in. That's what happens. You do it right, I'll come shop twice. Just had an item not received request from Matt G on eBay, but his cars haven't arrived yet. Just send me a DM, bro. Let's go again. <coughs> Ladies first. <coughs> Yeah, mate. Bye, bye. bye. So nothing in that one. Nothing in that one, eh? <laughs> On to the next. It seems it was obviously a nice little fluke that day, but oh well. What's on today? Half price shoes and bags. Half price something else. Half price clothing. Half price bric a brac. Yeah, but you always find a toy in here to have, don't you? Well, don't forget, we're going to go... don't have big toys. Yeah, don't forget. Well, don't forget, we're going to go to a few today, so you might find some. I'll let you know if we find anything. This shop's so hit and miss, it's unreal. Like, eight quid. But basically, this shop's always got a constant half price sale, I think. So they just price everything double and then get what they want. Red tapes, 25. 
Pandas. Okay. It's got pandas already. That's a real dinosaur. Is it real? No, it's, it's, it's got skins real. Skins real, is it? Today's going to be a washout in these two, isn't it? We had to wait until 10 o'clock for the good one to open, don't we? Oh, Daddy, look at these. These are super cute. What are these? Is that a door? I've got my sunglasses on. I'm not sure. Maybe. But there's always lots of toys in there. So we're going to go to Aladdin's cave. I was basically killing time coming here anyway. It opens at 10 o'clock, so we'll get some good bits out of there. Fuck these two shops. This is my favourite. If it's open, I don't think it is, though. Did you get Hello. Let me have a quick little search. I'll, I'll come back to you if I find anything. Daddy? Yeah, mate. Ryan, Daddy, Ryan toy. It's a Ryan, is it? Well, I can see one schleck in there, so I might just go for it and hope there's more. Otherwise, I'm paying two ninety five for one. Oh my god! Hey, just stand there. Look up. I never know. I never know until I know. Okay, done. How's right. life? Fine, thank you. How's life for you? Okay, thanks. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit this map. Hey, Daddy. Look at this. Oh, Daddy. Oh, Christmas, 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 Christmas. What the hell, Ada? It could be for Pop Dog. It could be for your babies. It can be for whoever, can't it? This is for my babies. Let me smell that. I might wear that today. Maybe not. Yeah, do as you're told. Daddy, I don't want to go to McDonald's. Okay, saves me a few quid, doesn't it? McDonald's. Okay, saves me a few quid, mate. Hello, there you go. It's quite a cool lamp, isn't it? Regardless. I bought one of these the other day and sold it. We know that's no good anymore. No, I'm going to buy this lamp though. This lamp's cool. I can tell you this, Daddy. Look. Well done. Thank you. Come on. Doing a good job. Good job. <laughs> Popping back into Annie's again, see what we can scranny for Manny. Scranny for Manny? Scranny for Manny. Uh, look at this Nothing bean. in there. Look at this giant bean bag. Massive bean bag. Massive bean bag. Let's go back home. We're going to go back home and then we can get some mess. We'll go back home and we'll try that charity shop and then we'll go home. Mm. What? Well, oh, there's flowers, look. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I haven't been to this one for a very long time. Don't think you've been at all. Come on, mate, take your time. Never spend your Bernardo's. That's a vintage night, that is. Size small. Look at that. that is small. Six quid there. Probably only 12 to 15 out of it. So fake. Well done. Nothing in there. Head back to Tadley now. Go to our local charity shop and then we're done. And we're back in the hometown where all the dreams are made. <coughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Sam's back on the fucking cleaning. Oh, Sam's back at home. Everybody's coming in there. 
Who's this just been in? That's cheap. I'm just going to buy it and find out later. No, I'm going to look it up. But I'm quite tall. Her mum's quite yeah, tall. I guess so. I guess so, yeah. Right, listen. We're in a, I, know we're, I know we're not trying to save money, right? But that's just a joke, all right? <laughs> Ada, do you want it? We're just having a laugh. We're just having a bit of banter. How cool is that? <laughs> oh, is that a controller there? Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll buy that. Yeah, we'll buy that. There you go. That was easy, wasn't it? Come back to this side, come back to this side. There you go. Right, Joe, it's okay. And home we are. Oh, this, side, this is for you. Thank you, you can keep it though. Can you keep it? Thanks. Aww. Oh, bought myself a key ring by the sound of it. Um, you can't sell it. You I won't sell it. keep it because to remind you of when we went to that shop, Daddy. Oh, okay. Are you back? Are you drained? Are you knackered? Yep. Yeah. I'll go through the stuff. I don't know. In a couple of hours or so. Oh, oh my God. I'm back, it's the evening time. So many hours have passed now, so I've decided what I'm gonna do, instead of researching what things are worth, I'm just gonna show you the sort of things I'm picking up in hopes that you guys can find something to pick up too. You might be inspired and be like, seeing Ricky pick that up, I'm gonna grab that as well. So I'm just gonna show you what it is. I'll give you some rough estimations of what I think things are gonna sell for, and we'll go from there. In no particular order whatsoever, MB, Puzz 3D, five pounds. I've seen the comps for this one for 30 quid. So I know we're going to do all right on that one. St. Michael's always taxing, but £6.50 on these. I picked these up because they're in really, really good condition. I'm hoping for a £15 flip. I could be dreaming, but they're in immaculate condition. And you know I like to work on the sense of, I've been out for the day sourcing. I don't, even though they cost me £6.50, eventually I'll work out how much all this stuff is. And each stuff, each item might cost me two, three quid. You know, that's how I like to work. No point in getting too invested. If you've been outsourcing for... If I go to Tesco's and do a Tesco shop, it costs £180, yeah? You think of it all as one because you've gone to that one shop. I treat my day out of charity shopping as one thing. So if I spend 80 quid on the day, I can divide it all up. That's, how I, that's just how I like to work. These were a little bit shocking. Jan Kielman, so they're Polish, quite old as well, £6.50. One pair listed for 1046 Another pair listed for 450 Terra Peak sales from about three years ago, 35 quid. So I do not know. They're a company that started in the 1800s. I've done some research, and apparently they're very, very, very bespoke. So hopefully we do well on them. £6.50. I'll be happy with 500 quid, wouldn't you? One bag down. I think this was on camera. The Viking game. It's £3.50. Looking at about 27 quid back on that. It's some sort of weird... Norse mythology kind of like chess maybe type thing. I don't really know to be honest with you. But if you see that on the shelf like that and it's under a fiver, pick it up. Lego lamp. This took a tumble while I was in the shop. I dropped it. I dropped loads of stuff off the shelf and it seems to have survived. No, it hasn't. It's cracked there. So I'm going to see if Ada wants that. But if not, it's rattling inside as well. Yeah, I, I, dropped, the, I dropped a bollock there. £3 paid. It was in good condition when I found it. Smashed it off the side. See if Ada wants it. While I was in there, she was bringing some stuff out. It's like a mystery bag of PlayStation stuff. Cost a fiver. We're going to find out exactly what's in there together. It's definitely worth a look. Oh, it's a wireless one as well. Sweet. So we've got a wireless dual shock and the navigation controller thing. Normally these have a ball on the end, so I don't know if this one's any different. I'm guessing it will be slightly. And a charger for the PlayStation controller. And this was the mystery because I couldn't see what this was. It's a Chillstream Logitech some kind of ps controller five pound for the lot hp charger two pounds fifty haven't looked it up yet but i'll always pick these up especially anything under like three to four quid i'll pick up with these slimmer bricks i normally go for um, more modern models that's my way of thinking anyway i'll do some research onto that but i'm hoping 15 quid back on those easy 75p for this 2013 star trek i think star trek us enterprise hot wheels car 75p on the card i thought i'll take a risk on it Microsoft wireless mouse with the USB. George actually needs one for his PC. I'll check that. If, it's, if, if that's selling for about 20 quid, he'll never see it. If it's under 20 quid, he'll see it. Paid a pound on that. And the coolest find of the day so far, even though we haven't finished yet, 50p for a crazy frog on that EW tag. 
uh, original era keyring. Fantastic. Love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. If that's anything less than £18, well, I'll chew my own tallywhacker off. Next bag. T-shirt, which is an absolute keeper, so you can all back off. I'm not going to sell it. Nobody's going to get it because it is my size. It's a 2XL, which is fantastic. And it is... Teenage Mutant Tina Turners. Teenage Mutant Tina Turners. <laughs> How wicked is that? I can't even put a picture on Instagram yet because I haven't released this video. That is so, so cool. I know someone is going to love that, but he ain't getting it either. How dope is that? Keeper. Keep it for a while. I'll obviously sell it eventually. Some blankets now. These were like £2.50 each. This one is Demon Slayer. So you've got big graphics. All the way across. It's a nice big blanket. It was £2.50, I think. Yeah, £2.50. I don't know what the value of that is. It's probably like 12 quid, I can imagine. Hopefully it's more. And this one, I think it's like somebody's made this, but it's got loads of different anime and different kind of console characters like Sonic and you've got Digimon on there. So many different things. It's absolutely awesome. The more you look, the more there is. There's Ash Ketchum. Loads on there. Final Fantasy. Don't know who that one is. Just tons of it. It's got it's on like a non-slip back as well could be good for like your pc you can have it as like a pc desk like table mat kind of thing nice size on it some cool stuff there again that was two pounds fifty i think two pounds fifty beautiful some sketches memory flex i don't actually think i've ever been worn if i'm honest five pounds fifty pretty sure they are nib mate new in box value wise i don't know maybe 15 in this weather maybe 20 remote control 50p Sony RMT, RMT TX100D, RMT TX100D, so it's Sony, plus it has like the Netflix buttons and stuff on it, and it was 50p. Basically, what I said in the live stream the other day was, if I tell you I've sold it for £15, and I don't put a screenshot up, I've sold it for £15, it's not my fault if you don't believe me. Now this was £2.95, I took a risk because I saw one was schlep, and that was this horse just here. So we've got one schleck horse from the 2000s that should pay for the bag now what i've got to do is hope that the rest of them are schleck as well yeah the cow is schleck or schleck however you say it the donkey is that's definitely not <laughs> so one dead cow oh there's a dead horse as well i say dead i mean it's not schleck a dead donkey ada will have these though she'll love them that's not but look at the way they do the tackle on them no need that's definitely not and that's not so out of the whole bag only three, but they will be fine. Three more than three quid back on them. Ada's gonna love them animals. And last but not least, I haven't even looked these up yet. So these are gonna be a mystery to all of us. Never heard of the brand. Royal and awesome. £2.75 paid. They're a big size. I think they're golfing, yeah, definitely for golf. I'm gonna find a care label to see if I can find out anything else about them. But hoping they're actually a decent brand they look snazzy do you know what i mean that thing caught my eye so that's what i picked up today 20 30 maybe 40 quid spend no rage rattles in the controllers not too bad at all i know it's a bit of a rush on the end but you know what if i didn't film it i wouldn't have bothered and i'd spend all day filming for absolutely no reason and i weren't going to waste that oh i haven't showed you this either <laughs> this is my favourite pickup of the day, and I almost let it go. £3 paid for this Marks and Spencer's Space AG Light. Look at that. So I think this is obviously where you manoeuvre it from, just here. Saves you grabbing the ball of it. You manoeuvre it from here, up, down, left, right. Turn it on here. It's got clear plugs and clear. It's Marks and Spencer's. I don't think it's from the St. Michael era, but that is absolutely dope, isn't it? Space AG yeah, I like it. I really like it. Again, one of them things I just wish I had somewhere to put it. Paid £3. I'm expecting at least 30 quid back. Hopefully more, but at least 30 quid. So with that, I actually can go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Much love. <laughs> I can't believe I dropped that. What an absolute...